So my car when I start this morning, so I had one of my friends come and pick me up. And I think the battery died. And now we're on our way to the supermarket and see if we can get one. The funny thing is that it's uh, it's my wife's car. And uh, we used to have uh, two cars, but she thought that there was no need to have uh, two cars uh, at the same time. Because my job used to be like across the street. So she made me sell mine. This is what I came here for. As you guys can see, it's a little bit empty. There is not that much people here. And I like it. The only difference is the uh, only one you're gonna pay, you have to make a little line. And uh, people are not respecting the six feet social distancing. So I'm trying to get to the cashier with less clients. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and for those who don't know me, my name is Rins and I normally make videos about travel, resorts and tourism. So if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please feel free to do so and click on the bell for the notifications. Tenía la persecución más grande de la historia. <laughs> so the president of the Dominican Republic just requested via the Senate a third extension of the state of emergency for an additional 25 more days starting from May 18th to June 11th. Now it is a little bit different from the last time he requested an extension. The last time everybody was uh, pretty much in favor, uh, but right now we're getting mixed reactions. And uh, basically it is coming from some of uh, the public figures uh, because they feel like all these measures are not getting them anywhere. They've been staying at home for the past two months. Of course we have the, the curfew, but it only works from 5 p.m. till 6 in the morning. So instead of going down, we are having much more people 
getting infected every day. Right now we have more than 10,000 cases of COVID-19 and more than 400 people have died so far. So it seems like for a lot of people there is no light at the end of the tunnel. And also the World Health Organization representative here in the Dominican Republic, Alma Morales, today said the country doesn't meet any of the necessary criteria to begin lifting the social distancing measures and return to normality. She said that she doesn't see that the case curve is flattening the country, but quite the opposite. And uh, she took as an example, like uh, last Saturday, we had 506 new cases and uh, 486 on Sunday. And until there are these massive cases, it cannot be said that the contagion curve is flattening. And there is nothing that epidemiologically speaking indicates that the Dominican Republic is uh, flattening the curve quite the opposite. But meanwhile, the Ministry of Tourism and also the Hotel and Tourism Association of the Dominican Republic are working on the health protocol that will apply in the country in that sector as soon as the operations are reactivated, temporarily suspended by the pandemic. Tourism provides here more than 350,000 direct jobs and is the main generator of foreign exchange. Tourism Minister said that all the general and specific clinic and disinfection guidelines for tourist service providers have already been discussed with basic measures to follow to maximize sanitation processes and avoid contagion and also that these protocols must be implemented by all tourism service providers that operate in the national territory i know that there are a lot of controversies uh, regarding the vaccine but uh, not before that i think covid19 will be here for a long time with us so leave your opinion in the comments see you in a couple of days for more news about the dominican republic punta cana and tourism in general